Hello boys and girls, oldies, goldies and all the rest. Welcome to this Phase 101 video. I'm Relica, also known as Kevin, but Relica will define. And this is the engineering section <laughs> um, of my man cave. I know. As an intro, maybe you'd like to know that this is a look before you leap and try before you buy or at least check video and that it will be in two parts so please bear with me while I start on part one and this is uh, my story I had been using a modified Atari mouse with my Amiga because my Amiga tank mouse was kaput and I wanted to fix uh, the tank mouse, but I didn't like the old electromechanical ball and roller system, so I thought I would upgrade it with a fancy schmancy, very modern laser board, which thankfully is available. So without any thought, I ordered a Yesus de la Torre laser board upgrade for my Amiga tank mouse. Uh, the board order duly arrived and I happily unboxed it, or rather, um, Unenveloped it, and here is that um, wonderful little piece of modern laser light and digital wizardry board. This is the laser board upgrade for the Amica tank mouse. It's a beautiful thingy, Amica laser tank mouse version one R two. Click 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 click. It's a beautiful thing. There's the laser, not powered on, so it can do anything bad. Uh, as well as the board included in the packaging, there is, oops, there are some other things. This is the uh, bottom cover for the mouse that will replace where the old ball was. And we'll cover the hole and obviously uh, focus the lens for the bounce back of the laser light. Also, I, we found out that there's uh, these two little spacers. You doesn't need much imagination to know what they're for, but anyhow, they're there. Let's see how they fit in the mouse when the actual upgrade starts. Now, what I didn't know, unfortunately, was that like there were several Amiga models, it seems there were also different versions or models, let's say, of Amiga tank mice or Raton, as the Spanish would say. Here is my unlucky tank mouse, a bit the worse for wear, um, seeing it's mm, more than 30 years old now. Anyhow. And that's the board that we upgrade, that we would be upgrading it with. Oh, and I forgot to mention that uh, with the mouse there also came this nice looking little assembly instruction book, laser upgrade for Amiga mouse by AmigaStore.eu. Thank you for delivering this wonderful product. And we go to page one to see how we are going to upgrade this mouse. So let's see. Shot of the bottom. Mm -hmm. And first surprise. Yes, you can see uh, from the picture. Maybe this will be a bit better. And from the actual mouse to seems to be a little bit different. How would you know? Because that one is saying that you should turn the bottom cover to remove it while it seems on my mouse it's saying pull it this in this direction to remove it. Anyhow, so we're already seeing some differences. Here it says um, Remove both screws of the bottom, take out the cap of the ball and disassemble the top case. So let's do that. 
I still have little tools. Like this. Alright. Next tool. Okay, I love it. Okay. Love them. It's only way, it's not a birthday, anyway. That's the ball. That goes away too. And there, as you can see, inside is the old roller mechanism. I don't know if it can be seen clearly, but uh, the roller is very, very far gone. And with all the rust that there's on it, I don't think that it will uh, be well. Yeah, it's fixable, but I don't like it anyway. So, uh, so we open the mouse. <laughs> There it is. There's the inside of the mouse. Look at that. 30 plus year old te technology. Uh, it says here yeah, there looks like the old Bakelite type of board, PCB, whatever. The old click, 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 click domes, metal domes covered with tape to keep them in place. Yep, the board. And this is the new fancy schmancy laser board that should be replacing this one. Uh -huh. Oops, there we go. But we need to remove some screws first. So let's do that. Right. Uh, we said we'd have to remove some screws, but let's see what the nice guide says before. Hmm. Look at that again my mm -hmm. mouse again again looks different here I've got this board with the metal domes where it's on the manual here as you can see there's no fancy schmancy dome, bu dome buttons but there were already it seems micro switches there Anyhow, let us remove our old board by unscrewing some stuff. Put this away again. Find a little screwdriver and whoop, do, do, do. And there you go. Now, that is funny because the screws screw here is where here seems to be. Mm-hmm. The actual micro switch. Oh, no. Let's see. So that's another screw removed. That is other one. And we have uncovered the wiring. Yeah, 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 yeah. So doop. Mm. Or is still fixed in there, so there are more screws to remove. There's one here, right? It's removed, and yes, as you can see, the board here has been removed. So, next, did I have to remove the board? Well, unplug cable connector. This is unplug cable connector. Mm. So it seems here there is supposed to be a cable connector, but as you can see on my very vintage mouse, instead of a connector, there's a jumble of wires soldered in directly to the board so <clears throat> we're stuck already so here let's see it's another page step three mm -hmm. step three says cut ground cable it's not necessary for the board remove the two screws i think i removed three and take out the old board which i already did There is the transpire. Okay, let's not go there now. So, oop, oop, oop. I couldn't unplug. So, what am I going to do here? Oops, let's take a break. Right, we're back from the break. We've had a little thought of problem. So, the first problem we have encountered is that the tank mouse I have 
seems to not be the same as the tank mount depicted in the manual. Okay, so the second thing that we uh, <clears throat> noticed was uh, that the manual said to unplug the cable where in our, um, in my mouse, um, as you can see, all the wires here are soldered. So it's not just a case of unplugging, I have to desolder all of them or cut them off. And uh, then wire all the cables to the new board. Hmm. Problem number two. Which brings us to the next problem that I noticed. Um, which I'm going to show you now is that if you put the boards just on top next to each other you'll see that while here it's aligned on this side my old board was a bit longer so there's going to be another problem to fit this new board instead of the old one because obviously these holes will not match due to different lengths exactly as you see this one didn't align with the one on the old board so we'll have to see what to do about that too hmm. right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find his website and contact him and ask uh, how the wiring should be done on this board to match the mess I have <laughs> on my old board. So until we manage to make contact with uh, Jesus, this brings us to a close um, for this part of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, see you for part two. Have a good day.